morning, Princess Good morning. Almond. How are you? Right. How are you? I am fantastic and phenomenal. Welcome to the Queen K Spotlight Show. We are so glad to have you. Woo! Yay! And um, tell our audience who is Princess Almond. Wow. That's a big question. <laughs> All right, Princess Almond, it's, uh, she's a mom, she's a daughter, she's a good friend, awesome. very loyal friend. That's <laughs> right. And um, Princess Almond is full of life. She awesome. Just I love it. I love it. Love and life. what do you do, Princess Almond? Tell us. What do you do uh, to make a living? What do you do to create the life that you want. Okay. So right now I'm a, I'm a consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics. And I, also, I see I the, the pink ball behind you that says one woman can. And then I think also I see some inspirational words. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us about, about Mary Kay and how long you've been doing it and what are you doing and what's, you know, tell us. Okay. So, um, before Mary Kay, I, was a stay-at-home mom okay. and I went through life, okay? And um, I had to I had to find a way to put a roof over my head with my three kids. So, so you're, I became, you're a single mom, correct? Yeah, I'm a single okay. mom. All right. So, maybe maybe yeah. not long after this show. You're too hot. <laughs> well, we're just asking God to bring the right man, okay? Honestly, honestly, that would be awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> so so you, you were a single mom. You were, you were, you know, doing what you can to survive. And then... You joined Mary Kay, and then what happened? I joined Mary Kay, and while I joined Mary Kay, I was also working at a hospital. Okay. And uh, um, so the, the, my pay at the hospital was enough to pay the bills, but I needed to take care of my kids. I needed child care for my kids, and I needed, you know, just to be able to live my life. Okay. And I did that. I actually sold my soul for a few years to the job. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I hear yeah. it's called uh, ju just over broke. So just slightly over broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I did that. And um, last year, I decided to walk out of my job and just do work, do America full time. Awesome. So because I needed, I need the flexibility for my kids. So right now I'm doing everything. All my kids are all in. They're all in activities right now, which is a blessing. Okay. And I can I can do other things for myself. Nice, nice. And and what is what has being an independent Mary Kay consultant done for you? Well, besides has, besides being there for your kids, what has it done it, for you? It has built relationships, powerful relationships. I am meeting people that. I never dreamt I would meet. And the confidence, though. I mean, I'm a total package. That's what I tell, I, I tell people. I so love this it. Woman, I love the it. woman you see right now is a total package, and she's unstoppable. And yeah. you're, happy. Give, you're giving me goosebumps because I remember when I first um, started, you know, becoming your friend, uh, when I started getting to know you better, besides, you know, seeing you at church and whatnot. I yeah. really, um, I just love that you've grown in leaps and bounds. You, you had a, a, a not so awesome um, former relationship. It didn't work out, but you know, you didn't let that break you. You know, I mean, we may fall down, we may get bruised, but you got up and you're like, you have the, the, the heart of a winner. And you know, you're a tourist like me, so we never, we never stop. You know, we just keep going, up. you know? <laughs> We never, say, we, we never say die. We get up and, you know, we dust off and we're like, oh, okay, let's do this. Okay? Let's do it. Let's and <laughs> you don't look like what you've been through because I know what you've been through. But oh. what I love about you is your positive energy, your spunk, your zeal, and those kids are doing amazing. And, yeah. um, you know, another thing I know, yay, another thing <laughs> I know is um, you're also, uh, you do interiors. You, you, you decorate people's cars. You decorate people's homes. You give them uh, like a, a space makeover that fits their personality because, that's just, you know, that's just who you are. So, you know, this girl can just do wonders to your environment. So I love it. So that's part of our thing. She will leave a little bit of her energy in your home. So you're just feeling all buzzy and positive everywhere you go. So that's wonderful. But now yeah. look at her. She's grown. She's stronger. She motivates and mentors other women, other people. Um, and, um, aren't you doing speaking engagements too? You were on the radio as well recently. Tell us about that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm on the radio. Yeah, talking. Look, my girl, my I love to talk to young girls. I love to, you know, mentor younger girls because I want them to know that life. I mean, it's it, it, you could be in a bubble and that bubble can bust. So what yeah. happens after the bubble busts? Yeah, you know. So I like to inspire them and just motivate them to be unstoppable, to do what they love to do, their passion. That's Absolutely. what I'm crazy about. Passion. Absolutely. I yeah. love it. So where do you envision yourself in the year from now? What is your hope? And and, and, and I did you didn't talk about your speaking engagement. You you speak on radio shows, you also are doing um like a, an event sometime soon. I think you're speaking to about two hundred people. I mean that's big. Yes. People get paid for this stuff. Yeah. You know, don't that's don't don't hide cute. what you do. Reveal it <laughs> so that maybe more opportunities can come, girl. Yeah, I know, I know. So yeah, I'm speaking to this um, group of ladies, um, actually nurses, and um, I'm just going to inspire them. Just let them know they do a good job. They do. I mean, being in a hospital for a little bit, I know what it is to really love on someone, even if they don't care. Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, it's a um, selfless kind of I'm love. Going back yeah, so I'm going back and um, letting them know that they are all appreciated. It don't mm -hmm. matter what or who they take care of. Yeah. And that, yeah. So that's what I'm working on next week. And I have I have some bags, goodie bags I'm giving out to them just to awesome. inspire them and do what they do. That's awesome. And then you all also sometimes you go to the nursing homes and you just love in the old older people oh. and just... I yeah. think that's so good. I mean, because most of these people can't afford to buy anything. Their kids may have even forgotten about them, but you're there just giving back. And that's, that's amazing. I love to give back. And um, I lost my grandma last year. She was 97. Wow. So she always amazing. told me, she said, I want you to always go back and take care of the elderly people. Just let them know that they're loved. You know? So awesome. that inspired me. My grandma had a... She had a very good, she left a good legacy for us. So I know, I really you, you always talk very fondly about her. May her soul rest I in love peace. Her. Yeah, that's great. Amen. So tell me, yes. a year from today, what should you, what should we expect? What are you hoping to accomplish by this time next year? Let's say you're looking back 2017. Wow, look at how far I've come. Tell us about that. What are you hoping to do? I'm hoping to touch more lives. Okay. Be that sunshine that they will never forget. Awesome. And just inspire a lot of young women. A lot, a lot. I'm not putting a number to it. So I'm ready to go the whole world and inspire a lot of young women. That's, young that's, women. that's incredible. So what motivates yeah. you? What keeps you up at night? What wakes you up in the morning to say, man, I'm going to go and do this? What motivates and inspires you to just get up and, and go be a champion for your family? Okay. Going back to where I had a, I had a good um, upbringing, but going back to where life started at uh, becoming a single mom and not knowing on how I was going to survive or take care of my kids. So I told myself I would never be broke again, okay? Yes. So, but getting to that point where I don't want to be broke, but at the same time, I'm going to do it by showing someone else how to never be broke, mm -hmm. but loving what they do by appreciating people mm -hmm. and just being that joy, that sunshine they need. Mm -hmm. It don't matter how how sad they are or what the situation is. Yeah. But I'm learning to I'm um I'm, I'm learning every day to just wake up with gratitude and just be ready. Mm -hmm. And just thank the Lord and be ready to get to the next level and just move. Awesome. That's incredible. So, someone's watching this program and they're like, man, I really like this woman. She sounds really inspiring and exciting, but they're a little bit shy or timid. Give uh, maybe one line of inspiration that will encourage someone that's watching this, that you, you know, a life that you can touch right, right as they're watching you on the screen. I'll tell you this. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't stop, you know? It's tough, yeah. You might be lonely, yes. You're going to fail, yes. But keep going. Awesome. Keep going. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. You touched me. You've touched my life. I'm so glad to be part of your life. And I know that the sky for you is just the beginning. So thank you very much for taking time out of your very busy schedule 
to uh, to be part of this. And hopefully, um, there'll be more to come for sure. And I'll be checking in with you. Amen. All right. <laughs> Thanks for being live with me, dear. Mwah. God bless. bless Take you care. Too. Bye. Bye. I think you're gonna have to be. We're gonna have to go. Through.